Hey, what's up scholars? It's your professor here in Light and Listed and more big news from the developers coming up on this major update with Tunisia. It looks like we are going to be able to equip shovels instead of melee weapons to dig foxholes and trenches. Now we don't have any information at this time on who can build emplacements. However, we do know that there are two different types. One of those being the foxhole and the other one being a trench. Now they did say in the dev blog that the trench will be able to block enemy vehicles. So that is going to lead to a lot of different play styles. Now I have some opinions about this addition, but before I get into that, I want to talk to you about some of the released information in these photos. In this photo here, you can see four British troopers that are all different looking. And this is really going to show off how the British are going to look in game. However, one of the four is actually an American. If you see him right here in the back, he's actually holding an M1 carbine. And I think this goes into what me and Quattro talked about on the podcast, where we believe the Americans are going to be represented in Tunisia. We also have this trooper holding an interesting looking rifle. This rifle is the British 1917 cutaway rifle, which will have similar sights to the Lee Enfield, and this will be the first time the 1917 will appear in game, and I'm looking so forward to reviewing it. A very odd addition to this picture is the SVT-40 that is in the background being held by the British Tommy Boy. Now, I think this is just more of a placeholder because I really hope to God they are not giving Russian semi-automatic rifles to the British. I don't really think they are, but it's just very interesting that they chose to put the SVT into the game instead of like the M1. Now with the ability to build pits and trenches, I foresee emplacements being way more useful. You will be able to create a mini MG nest, mortars will be able to fire from cover, and you will be able to get those spawn beacons closer to the front line in their little safe space. My concerns are that people are going to be spamming these trenches as we found on the official form that it looks like everyone is going to be able to build these trenches, but that is not officially confirmed at this time. I am also worried that it's going to be able to block vehicles as it says, so we're going to have these motor cycles that we're going to have this addition not being very effective and then the hold down kind of picture that we're seeing right here with the tank being a little bit lower I think this is going to make tanks really hard to root out I do like these additions as a tactical addition to the game I think it's going to slow down the pace a little bit and I think that's going to be in a good way what do you guys think let me know in the comments below and while you're down there be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and even that bell notification so you never miss another enlightened video until next time scholars hit those books and hit those bottles Cheers.